Large bushfires and giant cyclone destroy homes in Australia. A large, fast-moving bushfire consumed at least two homes and several sheds in the Wombat Creek area as it sped out of control through the East Gippsland region of Victoria State. Residents in 10 towns were advised to evacuate. The flames were ignited amidst hot weather that brought 40 degrees Celsius temperatures in Melbourne and further fueled by high winds. As of Tuesday evening, February the 1st, the fire had already scorched at least 7,500 hectares and the Prince's Highway between Noa Noa and Orbost was closed. Cooler conditions offered some respite to some 150 firefighters working overnight to contain the flames, as emergency warnings in a number of small towns were downgraded to watches and alerts. Meanwhile, residents of North Queensland began assessing damage after cyclone Yazi made landfall late on Wednesday as a full-strength Category 5 storm, with tens of thousands of residents having already been transferred to shelters thanks to early evacuations by the government. Prime Minister Julia Gillard also stated that 4,000 soldiers, aircraft and naval vessels of the Australian Defence Force were standing ready to assist storm victims. Around 170,000 households lost power as the area was struck by winds reaching 300 kilometres per hour and waves up to 9 metres in height. Damage is estimated to be more than from Cyclone Larry five years ago, which had flattened 10,000 homes. However, there thankfully have been no reports of deaths or serious injuries thus far. Our appreciation for the protective measures of the Australian government, as well as the courageous endeavours of the firefighting and defence force personnel, as we pray for the protection of the region's residents, human and animal alike. May such damaging events subside through our kinder actions toward the ecosphere.